Hey guys, welcome back to Chill Vibes Only. My name's Allie and today we're going to be talking about the three messages that we get around sex and how they could be negatively or positively affecting our sex lives. So, um, there are three common messages that show up as you're growing up around sex and that is the moral message, the media message, and the medical message. Um, and depending on the story that you were told growing up with each of these frames, you may have a positive, negative, or neutral view on sex and your sexuality. Um, so today I'm just going to be talking about these three different frames of mind so you can start to think about the messages that you were told and maybe if you want to start to rewrite the story of those messages that were told to you growing up. So first, um, the media message. So the media message around sex growing up can be positive or negative, right? Depending on the types of media you were consuming. So as you were growing up, you might have seen a lot of you know media around that women who have too much sex are sluts, or um, that your body was to be objectified, or that you shouldn't show this much skin, or you should show that much skin, or you should only have X amount of sexual partners in your life. That sex should look a certain way right that sex is only for heterosexual people um, that sex should be P and V penetration right there are all these messages that we get from the media around what sex should look like growing up and I will say now in 2021 there's definitely so much more representation out there and I am very excited to see the direction we're moving in with how we display sex on screen but a lot of us didn't grow up with those same messages so really sit and think about what was the media telling you about sex growing up was it telling you that you had to, you know, be a certain way in order to be respected or be a certain way in order to fit in? Um, and if that actually truly aligns with who you are right now and who you want to be. The second message is the moral message. Um, and this one usually comes from the church. <laughs> Um, or any sort of kind of like religious background that you may have grown up in. So um, in a lot of religions, there are sometimes rules around sex, waiting for marriage until sex. Um, you know, you can only have sex with certain types of people. You can only have sex with certain people in our religion. Um, so what kind of moral messages were given to you growing up around sex? Um, and does that align with who you are as a person now, right? Um, yes, re religion and faith is a huge part of people's lives and it can still be there, but you don't have to take every single lesson that the church gives you, right? Um, I think that if something doesn't sit right or feel right for you as and who you are deep down to your core, because you know yourself better than anybody else, start to question those beliefs and question what you were taught growing up and I think that it can be really hard and really scary to go against the norm um, and to speak out about that, um, but those are ancient, ancient, ancient <laughs> practices and, and the world is constantly evolving and changing and so are humans. But at the end of the day, you know yourself best and what you truly believe. Um, and so thinking about how those boxes, um, that, that those um, institutions may have put you in are affecting how you feel about yourself and your sexuality and if you want to continue to feel that way or if you might want to consider a different story. And then the third uh, lens and message is the medical message and that's the message that you usually get in school or maybe from your parents about how sex is dangerous, how there are so many infections, how you might get pregnant. Um, and that's basically just to make you scared of sex, right? You could have grown up in an environment where abstinence was highly pushed on you um, and you didn't know how to have safe sex and sex, sex seems like a really scary thing. And so when you're first getting intimate with someone, you could have been really startled and you still may be very startled of it. Um, so just acknowledging what kind of medical message you were given um, and then seeking out other sources of information. So maybe more sex positive clinics where you can learn about how to protect yourself from STIs or unwanted pregnancies um, and how to, you know, create a safe environment around sex because sex doesn't have to be scary or medical. Um, it can be really intimate and passionate and safe and comforting. Um, you just have to have the right tools and the right resources. So seeking out sexual health clinics um, and researching that on your own and getting yourself a more updated medical message. If the one that you were given was a little bit scary or um, one-sided. Now, I say all of these messages kind of with a negative light because that's usually how people see them, but if you grew up in a really positive environment, a positive sex environment, and you got positive messages, that's awesome. Keep spreading those to people, keep sharing them, keep talking about them. Um, if you're creating stuff, create 
media and create messages that are going to align to include everybody um, as best as possible and be as positive and as supportive and as kind as you can. Um, sex shouldn't be taboo. We should be able to talk about these things. We shouldn't feel shame around it. So if you are feeling shame, um, think about these messages you may have been given and think about how you might be able to reframe them for something that aligns more truly with how you're living your life today. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give it a big thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe because that really helps this channel and I'll see you for another video shortly.